One last question from Jared McBride. He says, or not a question, a comment. He's letting us know. Thank you, Jared. Appreciate the donation. He's saying McCaffrey will have a big day versus the Eagles. Larry, I heard you talking about how you liked a certain Elijah Mitchell to I close the game, and you liked the way he was running. Do you feel oh, like love- McCaffrey would have a big game? The last two times we've talked about the carry split, I've been so confident it's going to be 80-20 McCaffrey. The game, as the game wore on last week, we saw Mitchell actually get more carries. He really was the one who closed the game for the Niners. McCaffrey also got hurt. Um, but do you think it's going to be more 50-50 McCaffrey Mitchell on Sunday? Well, I, I think that what you saw in this last game was more a, a product of uh, the injury to McCaffrey. So if McCaffrey's healthy, I think he'll get the lion's share. But I think there's a confidence that Kyle Shanahan has in putting the game away with Elijah Mitchell because he doesn't fumble. And he runs efficiently between the tackles. And even in obvious run situations, you can't just key on him because he can make the first guy miss and he'll fight for every extra yard and not turn it over. I mean, that to me is the kind of the definition of a good back at the end. Um, But I will say this. This was an interesting stat that I saw. The NFC East this year went 29-16-1 against the spread against non-division opponents. It was the best mark in the NFL by any division of any division by far. That's wild to me. That's wild. To be fair, to be fair, the NFC East, especially early, um, the Giants won a lot of games they were not favored in. Yeah. Okay. That that might impact. 